Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm finally out of school. How great is this work out? <laughs> <laughs> a week late, but a dream delay is not denied. Um, so uh, earlier this week, we finally had graduation, but because of all the snow, everything was pushed back one week. And so our kids graduated, but there were lots of people who had made plans to come into town who weren't able to change them. So we did um, live video streaming. And one of my friends, uh, his younger sister, was graduating this year from Goochland, and he wasn't able to be there. He's in the military. He worked out his leave time so that he could be there on that last week in May, and then when things got moved around, he is now in Japan, and so he missed all of that. But, after uh, their graduation, they went to their house and, you know, they did the live video streaming and his sister was telling him all about how she did this and how she did that and how she sang a solo. And he said, yes, I know. I was there. And she's like, no you weren't. I looked and I didn't see you there. But, he was there and he saw everything. He never missed a moment. So often we look one-dimensionally. And what we celebrate today is that God is beyond all dimensions. For people who knew God in the Old Testament, they knew him through the prophets and through mighty acts. For people who knew him during the time of Christ, they knew that he sent his son. But Shazam, look what he did next. He sent his Holy Spirit to be with us all the time. And when we don't see him, he still sees us. And this morning, he wants us to see him in everything, because he is everywhere. It's a great feeling to know that we don't serve a God in a box, that we don't serve a God who is only in this church. It's better to know that our God is everywhere. He is in everything. He is in every moment. In every breath you breathe, you experience the one true and living God, without question. We don't have to worry about, because we leave this place, that we leave his presence ever. And that is worthy of praise. It is worthy of your best in every moment, of every hour, of every day. And that begins right now. You might be Methodist, but you're Pentecostal people, because you know one true and living God. Now, you don't have to run around the church or handle snakes, but you do <laughs> have to give them your all, and we're going to start right now.